Hi, Makiba. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you so much for joining me today. My pleasure. The first three years of a child's life are crucial to his or her development. Every waking moment is a learning opportunity, and depending on the child's age, different methods and experiences vary in their effectiveness for supporting learning. Joining me today is early childhood development expert, Dr. Donald Roberts, to share some expert tips and advice for parents to maximize learning for their babies and toddlers. Hello, Dr. Roberts. Good morning, Makiva. Now, on first, as parents, we always want to help our toddlers' development along as much as we can. What are some tips and advice that you have for parents to encourage learning without making their infants and toddlers feel too overwhelmed? Well, I think the most important thing that I tell any parent is is interact with your child as much as you possibly can and pay attention to when he or she is engaged. That's when he or she is really learning and that's when you can encourage that learning, when you can, when you can encourage the engagement and the exploration that, that's going on. So I, I would say uh, talking to your baby, uh, playing with your baby, it's, it sounds so obvious but uh, a lot of parents don't spend enough time doing that. Yes, absolutely. Now, um, in addition to that, um, there are so many um, toys and other products out on the market today, and the number just keeps growing. What should parents look for in toys and products in order to choose the best ones for their child? Well, I think that, that what, you, what is most important, particularly when we're talking about young children, children in the first three or three and a half years of life, is that they find toys that match the child's capabilities and interests. Uh, that is to say, it, it, it seems intuitively obvious that a six-month-old will engage with the world quite differently than an 18-month-old who in turn will engage with the world quite differently than a three-year-old. And what we're trying to do is put together products that take into account the capabilities at six months, 12 months, 18 months, and, and encourage children to explore and try new things. Um, so that in addition to rating the toys for safety at different ages, which, which all toy makers do, what we're trying to do is create a set of toys and label them so that parents will know that are really appropriate for what kids are generally doing at each of these stages during that first three years. Keep in mind that we go in, fewer than, or in just over a thousand days from an infant who can lie in a crib and make a few sounds and kick their feet and is totally reliant upon parents to the three-year-old who walks and talks and runs and jumps and gets into all sorts of mischief. And that's a huge change cognitively, socially, and emotionally. And what we're trying to do is put together products that take into account those changes so that a parent can engage the child around the toy. That's the other thing that we're hoping our, our products are doing. We do not have in mind that a parent should buy one of our products and hand it to the child and say, go off and play. Rather, we would prefer to see them engage with the child around the product or the video that we're producing because that, in fact, encourages engagement and, and makes the kids explore, explore even more deeply. We've known for years, for example, way back in the early days when Sesame Street first came on the air, children who watched with their parents seemed to learn more than children who watched alone. And that's because the parents participate, the parents encourage, and the kids are learning as much from where the parents are pointing as they are from the product. Yes, absolutely. Now, you mentioned about um, a little bit about your um, line of products that you help create for infants and toddlers learning, growth, and development, and um, a little bit about Baby Geniuses. Can you tell us, just um, give us a, a sample of some of the products that you have available? Well, we have a, a, an array of uh, video discs with uh, uh, some of the ones that I have, think are, are great fun are music videos were built around traditional and some new children's songs that teach such things as colors and shapes and alphabet and numbers. They're great fun, they're simple songs, the kids can learn to sing them, and the parents can learn to sing them and sing them with their children. Um, other things we have are uh, very soft books where you start reading uh, with even a six-month-old because the act of holding that child in your lap 
and and thumbing through the pages of a book, a very soft little, you know, fuzzy book for a, for for a six month old, is is at least delivering a message about there is something called a book, and it's fun to sit and look at the pictures in the book. It's a beginning before you move on to magazines and and uh, and books per se. Um, those are a couple of examples. Those all sound great. Now, this may be a little tough one for you, but we know that the holidays are coming up, which is also gift-giving season. Um, what are some of your top picks out of the Baby Genius line that um, you would suggest as gifts for babies and toddlers this year? Oh, that's a very difficult question to, to answer. <laughs> some of my favorites happen to be the music videos because I, I love to sing with kids. I have uh, an array of grandchildren, and, and it's fun to sit and sing the songs with them. So they tend to be my favorites because one of the reasons being it's, it's one of the kinds of products that, that uh, it's easiest to get parents to participate too. Um, uh, some of the puzzles. I like the puzzles. I like uh, the, 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 where, where the children are trying to learn how to fit shapes into the appropriate holes or, or sort by color. Um, I think it depends on the age of your child. I think the best thing that parents can do is uh, go to our website, babygenius.com, and look at the array of products, and then watch their children and see what engages their children. Kids differ. And uh, one child may love a music video, and another child may just be totally oblivious to it. And parents know their kids if they've been watching their kids. And, and so I would encourage parents to let the child direct you. Uh, what the child gets engaged in is what you should be building the play around. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for that. And for more information on gifts this year, as well as I'm learning and development toys and products from Baby Genius, visit www.babygenius.com. Thank you so much, Dr. Roberts. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Makiba. Have a wonderful day.